What up, game dev gangster? Fire from us. Come, you already know that. I mean, you are on my channel and all of the good stuff. But, anyways, I've been hearing a lot talk about publishers and should you get a publisher for your game and I also see that a lot on Facebook groups, Reddit groups and blah blah blah. Yes, I read on Reddit groups, I read on, on, on Facebook groups as well. But anyways, the question is, should you actually get a publisher when you're creating your game or you want to publish your game? Now, this is my take on it and, you know, I want to analyze everything that's, you know, in the field because nowadays, especially in the tech world, be that regular programming for apps and game development and whatnot, but everything is about money. And every single publisher that you contact and every single publisher that maybe contacts you, it's all about money. They want to get a bigger cut, okay? Somebody is going to say, yeah, but they're helping your game get out there. They're helping you get downloads that you do, would not get without them. In a sense, that is true, but that doesn't mean that if a publisher helps me get downloads for my game and helps me get sales for my game that he should take like 60% of the cut or 70% or 80% because at the end of the day, I'm the one who is spending a year or two or three or four years creating a game. Yes, it's true. They are a company that started from zero and they, you know, now have grown and it's easy for them to just advertise. That is all true. You know, I'm not saying any of that, but they should acknowledge you as a developer. So my first point is over here, if you are getting into a deal with a publisher, make sure that you take a look at all the terms that are in that assignment, in that agreement, assignment, in that agreement. Do you own all the rights to your game or do they own? Because there are a lot of publishers, my friend Ahmed, the one that we are, you know, creating games with, he, you know, contacted, I believe it was Voodoo or Ketchup, one of those two. He had a really nice idea for a game. He had a prototype for a game. And I believe they asked him for a 80-20% ratio in terms of revenue. So 80% for them, 20 for, you know, and I'm still publishing that game under your name. People are going to think that you created that game, not me. They're not going to know who I am. And still you're getting 80% of that, you know, of that revenue, which I don't think it's fair. But again, it all comes to perspective and how you look at things. Because I don't want to, you know, spend a couple of years, a couple of months or whatever of my time and creating that game. And at the end, you know, just because you are a company that you can get downloads for me. Okay, we want everything basically. And we own the rights to your game. You cannot distribute this game on any other platform. Uh, you cannot, you know, I don't know, sell this source code. You cannot do this or that. And they are, you know, like dictating you what you should do and what you should not do with your code. So make sure that when you get in an agreement that you go through every single step point in that agreement to see what will bite you in the you know butt if you sign that contract and i know again for some people they need that you know juice to move forward in terms of they cannot finish their game but again this is all business i'm talking about not only game development as game dev as a hobby as something that you love but it's a business and i all i talk all the time about other revenue streams that you can create with game development with freelance with TV teaching with, I don't know, YouTube, with selling source codes, with selling templates, selling anything else, you know, game dev related on marketplaces and whatnot to get you started because the main issue here is that you have money to sustain yourself while you're developing your game. Another thing is that there are good publishers. Unity is one of them. And no, this is not affiliated. This is not sponsored. I'm not, you know, the Unity growth program is something that when I looked at it and saw it for the first First time I was like, man, this is not true. There, there must be a catch because basically what they will do is they will take your game. If your game is earning at least 3K per month, it will they will take your game and they will spend money on ads to get you to get your people to your game. And they will bring up that revenue to about to above 100k because what the issue here is they will retrieve their 100k as investment and what's left for example if your game gets to your revenue up to $130,000 per month unity will take back the $100 they invested in ads and you will split the other 30 half half and that is for one year, I believe, for a year or two or something like that. And they will do that continuously every single month as long as you're in that program. Everything, they will continuously do that. And when that program ends, so if your contract is for one year, when that ends, your game, 
you own everything, you have all the users that Unity has helped you acquire it, and all the revenue you earn after that, it's totally, totally yours. When I first saw that, I was like, man, this is a lie. <laughs> I'm gonna be straight honest with you, this is a lie, this cannot be true. Is there a publisher who, you know, doesn't want to rip you off, <laughs> so to say? And it's true. So it's true, if your game is doing well, if it's earning some money, then you should definitely check out Unity and their publishing agreements and whatnot. Other than Unity, I cannot recommend any others. Of course, you will find videos on YouTube recommending this or that. You can watch them out, you can check that out. But I always, always say, check that out for yourself. Try to do things on your own and see. Because again, not everything is about money. People don't care about your feelings. People don't care what you do about your game. They only care, will that game make money and how much of that money can they get for themselves? So again, be careful when you do those things and you might want to think about self-publishing. Again, I know your self-publishing will not get you $100,000 for your game at your launch and whatnot. But again, building audience on YouTube is one way to get downloads for your game connecting with people on Reddit, connecting with people on Facebook, sharing the progress about your game and all of the good stuff, but essentially just YouTube. Just YouTube, even though people say, oh, it's just one platform, though they can change you, blah, 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 they can ban you. Well, if you don't do something stupid, they will not ban you. If you just create really cool videos, entertaining videos, they will not ban you. You can continue to work and you can continue to spread your audience. And that way, when you publish your game, you don't need a publisher, but you already have people who are on your list, who are your, you know, fans and lawyer supporters and whatnot, and they will help you, help you, help your game get momentum. So yeah, these are basically my two cents. Tell me no, tell me no. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Tell me what you think in the comment down below, because I really want to hear your opinion and what other guys in the industry think about, you know, publishing, because I see some, some people are for, others are against. I'm always for the route that you try to do it on your own. Of course, this also depends where you live because if you live in a country where you need, I don't know, $5,000 per month to sustain yourself, then it will be hard for you to work and you know also work on your game. So work to provide and also work on your game. But if you're in a country where you need $1,000 or 500 bucks a month to sustain yourself, then it's pretty easy to earn some money online, sustain yourself and also work on your game without the publisher and then you know, build audience along the way and, and publish your game and whatnot and yada, yada, yada. Anyways, uh, like this video or if you don't like the video, I will send some publishers down your way to kick your, you know, uh, butt and, um, you know, take your game and everything. Other than that, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to check out my Game Dev Academy. There is a free trial that you can try, you know, just to see how it is. So click down the link and uh, I've tilted. I will see you guys in the next video.